All right, so the Zenfone Pro M1, it is yet again, and there are a lot of videos that are gonna come for this device. We'll probably have at least 40 or 45 total videos for this phone. But for now, today we're gonna have a look at a new ROM that is Revenge OS. It is based on Android 9. I don't know what the features are, so I'm just gonna install it, walk you through the install process, and then have a quick first look at it. And then later, maybe I'll use it for 24 hours, give you a second opinion on it, and then I'll use it for one more day and make a full review out of it. So that is a mechanism that we are using, and I think you guys like it but before we begin if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss a upload from me at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is kalash let's get flashing Hey guys, welcome to another video and as you can see the Zenfone Pro M1 is running Pixie OS right now so we are going to flash a different ROM of course and in today's video we are going to have a look at Revenge OS. Now this is something new that I've heard even the name for that matter and this appears to be a custom ROM based on Android 9 Pie for this wonderful wonderful device. So the usual set of things will apply. You need to make sure all your data is backed up. You need to copy the ROM and the gapps file to your phone's external memory because we will be wiping internal storage to have a very very clean flash. At the same time make sure you have more than 50% battery and all your data Data is backed up so that you don't have a problem after flashing the ROM. So first things first, considering that you've taken care of all the other things, what we need to do here is as we are already on a custom ROM, we'll just press and hold the power button. Once the power menu is up, we will do advanced reboot, which should take us to TWRP. Now, of course, you need to have TWRP. You need to have an unlocked bootloader without which you will not be able to flash any custom ROMs of sort on this particular device. Now, as you can see on the screen, we are already there on TWRP. So first things first, we need to go to wipe and then advanced wipe, Dalvik, cache, system, vendor, data and internal storage. We will be wiping internal storage for a cleaner, cleaner flash. So let's swipe to wipe here. All right. Now, once the wipe is complete, you need to go to install up a level external SD and let's look for revenge OS. Now, I know I have a lot of ROMs on my phone, but that's what happens when you have to flash a lot of ROMs. And this is the one revenge OS and the date is 22nd of September. So that is one of the latest builds. After selecting that, just swipe to confirm flash. As always, this flash will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be very, very patient while that happens. And remember guys, for the Zenfone Pro M1, as well as for all the other devices, whatever videos are being shot for installs and previews, most of those ROMs will be reviewed, but it becomes very, very difficult to review each and every ROM out there. So it is my humble request to let you know in, let me know in the comment section rather which ROM would you like to be reviewed so that I can use that as a daily driver on my primary phone and share my inputs with you guys before you actually go ahead and try it. All right, now as you can see the ROM has been flashed. So let's go to the home screen, reboot, system and do not install. And let's have a look at the boot animation and let's see if there is anything different that this particular ROM offers, okay? It is a very, very simplistic boot animation. It's not even a proper boot animation. It just has the name Revenge OS written over, all over it. And uh, as I said earlier, this ROM is based on Android 9 Pie. It's good to see that Android guy coming in this particular boot animation. So yeah, something subtle, but something different. Let's wait for the ROM to boot up and then we will have a first look at this beautiful ROM. All right, so a couple of things. We have booted up to the home screen of Revenge OS. That is there, but there are a few things that we need to note of that this ROM does come with pre-installed Google Play services. At the same time, it does have a Gcam pre included. So that is a good thing. And if you don't pay attention to that, and if you just flash Google apps, over and over again you will get an error that phone is starting so please be very very careful with that i wasted close to half an hour figuring out what is wrong with this particular flash nonetheless we are back on track and let's quickly go ahead and let's have a look at revenge os so of course what do we have here well we have a complete google pixel experience with the feed to the left and the pixel styled gesture bar the pixel launcher is there Gcam is present of course so that is a very very neat addition I think all ROM developers should really really do this and it works really well as well now apart from this if we go to settings here all right so you would notice that it says finish setting up your pixels this is basically a pure AOSP based ROM there is not much customization that I can see 
you have digital well-being so it's yet another rom just like pixel experience which has all the stock related features you have gestures you have date and time you have if you go to about phone you will see that this is a september security patch and stuff like that but from the first impressions what i would say is that i have not encountered any force closures yet let me just lower the brightness there and this looks like a very very promising rom to be very very frank with you i would love to use it as my daily driver at least for a couple of days and review it but if you are interested in it let me know in the comment section if i should go ahead and review this rom or not but for now what i would say is from the first impressions and the amount of google apps that i included this is a very very ready to use daily driver material because it also has google cam that is pre included apart from that there's nothing much that i have to say about it i can only say that once i use it because from the first impressions every rom looks great so until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye